Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Julie with Bookshelf by Julie. I have a pretty big ta-da today. Okay, um, you'll have to overlook my background. I, you know, when you reorganize your craft room and move things around and put things away, you can't find what you were looking for. Well, I can't find the um, wrap that I usually put down here as my background, so I had to dig out another one. I like it, but it's different. So, anyways, <laughs> enough of explaining myself. Um, so the dollhouse journal. Uh, is finished now I'm not finished with that uh, dollhouse journal kit because I have a lot more stuff I want to do with it but this journal is finished I had I tied the signature in but I tied it out so that I could hang some charms and I've got a few things that you might find around the house you know there's the rocking horse from the nursery and the or the little boy's room and then there's a little crib little baby buggy thing a pot of tea or whatever you want to put in there and uh, a mug to drink whatever you want to drink it's just you know it's cute so um <clears throat> yep yeah, it's pretty big but let's see if we can get into it I just tied this around here because it just didn't seem like it needed anything you know like a hitching post or anything like that so I did put a key on here because, well, it's a dollhouse. you got to have a key to the house, right? Okay, so the front, I I fussy cut out the house to make a, um, a stacked image uh, pocket there. And I also made me a fence to go here. It's a, a version of the fence that's on the front of the thing, and I put a thing in there. These were freebies from, um, yeah, one of the dollhouse freebies, um, and I just made them smaller and put some lace behind them and, you know, that kind of thing. <clears throat> I left the back pretty, just that way because, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty. So, let's get in here. We have been making this one for a while. It is pretty awesome. Now, like I said before, in the front of the house, things are a little bit more organized and quieter or a little, little bit less um, <clears throat> busy or bulky or whatever you want to call that. Um, and then as, as you go back further into the house, you get, you know, this is... To me, that would be like the study or the den or whatever. And you've got little embossed pockets here. This is where I put the signature cover. And this signature cover and the pages, um, I'm going to put on as a freebie uh, for all my friends who want to make a little... Even if you don't have the dollhouse journal kit, you can still make this... Um, if I can keep it in shot... You can still make your little notebook out of this. I just use the same ones front and back. Uh, I think there's about <clears throat> 10, 20, about 40 pages in that. That's a pretty good size writing spot. Um, again, with the embossed pockets, I'm trying to keep in shot. Okay, and then the rest of the den, right? <laughs> a little study kind of thing where you would write letters and all that kind of such and such. Okay, then we get further over. This is like a brick hallway down. <laughs> it's my imagination. Sorry, you just have to come along with me. Um, so this is our our photo flip where we've got all these in here. And you can put, you know, all kinds of pictures and writing and all that stuff. Just awesome, awesome. And that opens up into the master bedroom. Uh... So, again, the um, embossed pockets, just flat pockets down. Um, stacked images because, yeah, I don't want to lose the pretty. The rest of that, uh, 
the the other side is this uh, flip out with the um, see if I can tip this up. It's got a expandable pocket, and these were we made these in the stash builders. And I just decorated them with some freebies. There's a lot of freebies that go along with it. This was a freebie. This was a freebie. The decoration for this was a, this brick wall was a freebie. Uh, there's a lot of freebies that this was a freebie. And the photo flip was in the stash builders. So I'll put links to all that down below for the if you want to know how I did that. Again, this is the nursery. We've got our embossed pockets. Just a little bit of something something here and here hopefully I'm in shot because you know it's just it folds out and out and out right so there we go <clears throat> not done yet <laughs> okay now we're in the attic and we've got stuff under our uh, our belly bands in the attic now this is that one that opens up and this was a this was a freebie it's got a little pocket in there so these are the little expandable mini, 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 teeny weeny little expandables. I haven't put anything in there yet, but you know, <laughs> it's a thing. Okay, so let's go this side first. Okay, here we go. We've got the little girl's room, and this is her flip in, tip in um, part. We've got um, these. Now, these were also on the stash builders. Uh, this was freebies. This whole area was freebies. Um, and I just used a piece of leftover brick wall to to put that on there. Just a little belly band to put put her dolls in there, right? Okay. And then that's the dollhouse with some little fussy cuts on there. Sticking it in her pocket. Um, yep. The, well, if I'm in shot, let's see. The, uh, the teddy bears in there. That's a little pocket I made out of some of the fussy cuts on the pocket. Yeah, on the pocket. Because it's uh, it's the hinge triple. And we made these in the um, stash builders. Hinged uh, pockets with the wraparound pocket on them. Yeah, it's um, pretty simple to do. And um, it gives you a lot of places to put things right okay so behind the other side of the attic we've got the little boy's room uh and his room is super cute too we've got his little you know uh like i said the stash builders thing we had a lot of fun there are certain things that you always or i always put in my he has to have the backyard right so i always do i always put in my journals and i thought well why don't i just make a bunch of those and just have them in my stash and pull them out. So I made the little airplane. Uh, that was one of the fussy cuts. They're the freebies. This this room was a freebie. So I made the airplane a little belly band up there. <laughs> you know, why not? You've got all kinds of fun stuff in here. His room is adorable. And um, when I did the freebies for the little boys and little girls room, I also took all the elements out so you have fussy cuts and you can go ahead and decorate however you want on that. It just, it's up to you. I like to give people options, right? <laughs> so this was so much fun and I enjoyed every second of making this um, big old journal. It's just huge, but so much fun. So much fun. I'll put the freebies that I mentioned um in uh in the freebie places that i put them <laughs> i'm uh, i'm switching over to some different things because people have had some problems with uh getting the freebies from my website they'll still be there because that's sort of where i archive them at um but uh i've started a facebook group page and it's a work in progress but I'm going to be sharing them as files, as PDFs on there. So if you have trouble getting them from the, you know, from the website, you can go there and, and get them from there. Uh, like I said, though, it's a work in progress. I haven't, you know, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's the dollhouse journal. It is finished and it was loads of fun 
and it's still loads of fun. Just looking through this makes you happy. Just, just saying. <laughs> so there's a lot of freebies that go with this journal kit. The big journal kit um, is in my Etsy shop, but there's a lot of freebies that if you don't want to buy the journal kit, you can still make a whole lot of the things that are in here. Um, so I'm going to be doing drawings. Uh, let me remind you about that. Every time I hit a hundred milestone marker, all the way to a thousand, you know, uh, I'm going to be giving away a digital journal kit. Maybe you want this one or another one. It, you know, just go to my Etsy shop. If you win, go in there and pick out the one you want and I'll send you the files from me to you because Etsy doesn't like you to, you know, anyways, <clears throat> so the drawing, all you have to do to be entered in the drawing is say hi in the comments. Just make a comment of any kind, whatever you want to say, and you are entered. The drawing, each time I do the drawing, it'll reset and I'll start a new list. <laughs> um, so every time you make a comment, even if you've already made a comment, you still get added in again. So it gives you another chance to win and it helps my channel grow. So uh, it's a win-win, right? <laughs> okay. All right. So you guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, journal journey with me. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I've really liked it. It's one of my favorite kits. I say that about several of them, but this is Really, I've had so much fun, and I've got so many other things that I'm going to do with this journal kit. It has a lot of different options. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of something. Um, I've been working on the room box for a, a while now, too. And let me move this to the side just a minute. It is coming along so nicely, I'm just saying. Uh, just a sneak peek. There's, uh, you know, all kinds of things going on. This is going to, that was ready for a, a video of its own uh, where I put some more stuff together on the inside. But I just have to give you a sneak peek. This journal kit has so many different things you can do with it. Um, I'm still gathering my materials for the bookshelf dollhouse that I'm going to make. And I will be um, sharing progress and pictures and stuff like that. It's too big to put under here, really, because, you know. Anyways, but I will be sharing progress and pictures of that as soon as I make progress. I'm still, like I said, gathering. <laughs> so, anyways, you guys have fun. Take care. Make something crafty and, you know, share it with me. I'd like to see what you make, too. Uh, oh, and please like and subscribe. Pretty please, pretty please. <laughs> Thanks for watching. TTFN.